Hello everyone. I just arrived in the beautiful neighborhood of Nachlaut in Jerusalem and I'm all set to make you a double braid tutorial. It's really funny that the first time I did the first double braid tutorial was also in Nachlaut in Jerusalem when I was here two years ago. So here's a new updated version. So all of you know the basics. You take three rectangular scarves and you layer them on your head, knotting them at the back. Now the first one you want to keep the knot quite succinct so you get a nice layered look by your head. It's so sunny here that I almost can't see what I'm doing. It's really beautiful. Wish you could all be here with me. Now I'm doing my second one. And you can either place these layers close together on your head or farther apart depending on what look you would like. I'm doing them a little closer together today. Now, depending on what colors you choose, it will change the look drastically. I really hope that you can hear me in this video because there's a bunch of voices around. We're in a very touristy area and we have a neighborhood dog, obviously. So, I'm doing some pretty contrasting colors here right now. But imagine if you were to do three levels of taupe and brown and black or different levels of blue, you would get a much more subdued and formal look. Here's my last one, the teal. I'm using two-in-ones to do these because they're so thin that they work perfectly. You can attempt this with other longer scars, but I wouldn't recommend it doing it with anything much thicker than the two-in-ones because you'll run into issues making the braids, as you'll see. Okay. Now you divide them on either side. You braid the first side. Now, if you look at the different sides, this side somehow managed to be a little shorter than that side in terms of my braid. That was not intentional, but usually this happens. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Do not braid too tightly because then it will come up short. It won't be long enough to go around your bun. And I will also, mentioned that your bun should not be super high for this because at least with these length scarves it won't go over the whole length. Maybe if we find longer scarves we'll be able to do that. But for now keep your bun either in the middle of your head or at the bottom. So I'm bringing up and around my first braid. And what I'm doing is I'm going to tuck it underneath these knots. Now you can see like between my shaper and headband and the first knot of the scarves, there's um, a little space that you can access with your thumb. I'm just gonna put it in there. Remember not to bunch it up too tight because you don't wanna get a headache. And there you go, that's my first layer. Second layer. So interesting to be doing this video in Jerusalem. <laughs> I really can't see because it's so sunny, so I hope that braid went well. And again, the slightly shorter braid you want to put near the back and the slightly longer one near the front because there's just more circumference of head to go around. Braid it all the way to the bottom. And now you bring it up and around. Like this, and once again, tuck the braid way underneath the scarf. If you, for some reason, tie your scarves too tight and you don't have the space, just really stick your thumb in there and make the space happen. The scarves will loosen up a bit and you'll find the space to scrunch it in. There you go. If there's any fringy ends sticking out, just tuck them in. Now, I just found this necklace. This necklace used to be my mother's when she was alive. And she gave me, a whole, obviously I got her all, all her jewelry and I never wore this necklace until I found it when I was just home. And I turned it into a regal clasp. And if you want to learn how to use the regal clasp to turn your necklaces into headbands, just look up the regal clasp video. Okay. Tucking that all in. There we go. And that is how you do the double braid. I hope that's detailed enough. Really, the most important part is to get these layers nice and smooth at the front 
and when you tuck in the back just really use your thumbs to kind of bring the layers up so you can tuck it in smoothly don't tuck it in too bunched up like a fist don't do that because I'll, then you'll get a pressure headache in that area and yeah this is basically this is a elaborate version of a bun hair bun to hold you I would not recommend this style to someone that might have um, a rounder face and want, might want to minimize that roundness for me because I have a thin face this actually gives me a little fullness a little volume in my cheeks right here but for someone that might want a little more height I'm not sure that I would recommend this style I would recommend more like a long braid that you could bring over the top and give you a little more height so just keep that in mind. It can go really formal depending on what colors you want and quite casual like I'm doing today. I'm going to go to the shirk and shop for Shabbat. Okay, bye everyone.